More and more people across the country are growing their own fruit and vegetables. Take this allotment site in Hampshire, for example. Opened in 2011, more than 150 new plots, and there's still a waiting list. Or, as in this garden, where the owners are using raised beds to grow crops ready for the dinner table. There's nothing nicer than the fresh taste of your own produce, and there's great sense of achievement in growing it. However, there are a number of pests waiting to enjoy your crops and devour your plants before you get the chance, so you need to be on your guard. Attack is the best form of defence, and in this video we look at some of the most common pests and how to use one simple product to deal with each of them. There's no chemicals involved or anything that harms the environment, so your food does not contain any residues. There are a number of pests where the eggs are laid in or on the soil near to the plant and where the larvae will attack. Take the carrot root fly for example. It's tiny and you probably won't even see it. Generally the culprits lays its eggs which hatch into larvae that eat their way into the roots or other tissues of your plants. The most common pests are carrot root fly which attacks carrots, cabbage root fly which attacks cabbages and other brassica as well as tunnelling into the roots of swedes, turnips and radish. Onion root fly, which attacks onions, shallots, garlic and leeks. Leather jackets, which also attack brassica. Cutworms, which attack all garden vegetables, especially seedlings and new transplants. And scarred fly, which again can attack a wide range of vegetable plants. The result is, you can end up with vegetables that are damaged or even inedible. As a lot of vegetables grow below the ground, it's hard to see when damage occurs until it's too late. So prevention is better than cure. This is where Nemesis, Grow Your Own Pest Control, comes to the rescue. So how does it work? Tiny nematodes are watered into the soil around the plants. They seek out the larvae of the pest, enter the pest and kill it. They constantly move around so they can actively seek out the pest. Because the pests have differing life cycles and even multiple populations in a season, you can't rely on one single application to deal with all of the pests in one go. So our recommendation is that you use Nemesis Grow Your Own Pest Control at fortnightly intervals once the roots start to form. This can be from around April through to July depending on the growing season. Now we come to some pests that are active above ground on the plants themselves. The two main culprits here are caterpillars and thrips. Caterpillars are well known for devouring plant leaves of all types and cabbage white butterflies and gooseberry sawfly can be particularly destructive. Thrips, otherwise known as thunderflies, may be very small but they can attack virtually anything. The telltale signs are small silver patches and black dots on the leaves. New growth can be distorted, browning and curled and the thrips droppings, minute black specks, can sometimes be seen on the leaves. You can use Nemesis Grow Your Own Pest Control to kill both caterpillars and thrips. You use it by making up a solution and then spraying the pest directly. Spray the underside of leaves to get those which may be hidden away. We recommend three applications at weekly intervals to kill subsequent hatchlings and you start to use it as soon as you see the pest. The nematodes work in the same way as for soil-borne pests, but the difference here is simply the method of application, as we spray the nematodes directly onto the pests we can see. Finally, let's look at ants. Whilst they don't do too much damage themselves, they can be a nuisance. To get rid of them, Nemesis Grow Your Own Pest Control can be watered directly into the ants' nests. The ants don't tolerate the nematodes and move away. So you can see how versatile Nemesis Grow Your Own Pest Control is and how it can really help you grow healthy, tasty fruits and vegetables. It's readily available by mail order. Just search for it by name on the internet. If you want more information on the pests and when to apply, download our handy chart at the address below. You can also get more information on pests in your area on the Warwick University website. For more information about how nematodes can help you control pests including slugs in your garden or allotment, go to www.nemesisinfo.co.uk. Thank you for watching.